Hello Wanderers, welcome to Sitka, Alaska. We are only in town for the day, but we have an afternoon full of activities, including the Alaska Raptor Center and Fortress of the Bear. Join us as we discover this unique island city. The city of Sitka in southeast Alaska weaves together a rich history of native Tlingit culture, Russian influence, and the American frontier. We experienced a little of it all in our one-day visit. Let's start with our first stop on Raptor Way, the Alaska Raptor Center. As their mission states, the center promotes and enhances wild populations of raptors and other avian species through rehabilitation, education, and research. In the Flight Training Center, visitors can observe eagles through a specially designed viewing corridor that shields human noise and visibility from the birds. Here the eagles are conditioned in regaining their flight skills in a natural and private environment. In the lobby, Q&A sessions with a trainer and a live bird are also offered for guests. Outside the gift shop on the deck, you'll find the natural eagle habitat, home to both bald eagles and one golden eagle. This large viewing area allows visitors to watch the eagles as they would act in the wild. It's also great for snapping memorable pictures and videos. Past the natural habitat is a quarter-mile nature trail loop for visitors to explore Alaska's various ecosystems. This is also where you'll find the Weathering Yard, where many species spend their days as part of the center's Raptors in Residence program. Here they are exposed to natural weather elements in a safe habitat. At night, they are returned to their individual enclosures. You can observe and learn about snowy owls, barred owls, hawks, and more. After the Raptor Center, we headed back to downtown's Lincoln Street to sample Russian dumplings at Pelmini. This casual spot offers a simple menu at affordable prices. The beef or potato dumplings are a tasty and filling option to grab on the go. While you watch your dumplings boil in the large pots, pick a record to play on their Victrola in the corner. Then just choose your toppings and enjoy. With our bellies full, we headed to Fortress of the Bear, six miles east of downtown Sitka. Fortress of the Bear is a bear rescue and education center, currently providing care for both brown and black bears in three separate enclosures. We were surprised to learn that the facility was designed around old paper pulp wastewater treatment tanks. The bears you see at the center were orphaned at a young age and are now permanent residents of the fortress. The state of Alaska does not currently have a rehabilitation and release program in place for bear cubs, and it is illegal to return bears back to the wild. The fortress was created to care for these orphaned cubs and save them from being euthanized. During your 30-minute tour, you'll be guided by experienced naturalists and bear experts who are happy to answer your questions and tell stories. Afterward, you are free to wander the platforms at your leisure. The staff work hard to provide the bears a natural and wild environment, and you can tell they have formed strong bonds with the animals. During our visit, the bears were very active, especially the black bears who were wrestling and playing with each other. If you love bears, this is the place to go.
There's also a small gift shop with a variety of toys, jewelry, and clothes, some even designed by staff members. One Sitka spot you can't miss is an easy walk from downtown, the Sitka National Historical Park. The park preserves the site of a battle long ago between invading Russian traders and the indigenous Klingit clan. Throughout the park are totem poles collected over 100 years ago from clans on and around Prince of Wales Island. Two miles of trails weave through the temperate rainforest and along the water's edge. There is a visitor center that houses artifacts and ceremonial objects, plus great educational resources. You can also join a ranger-led walk in the park or witness the carving progress of a totem pole. Our last stop of the day was a delicious one. We were fortunate to book a reservation at Ludwig's Bistro, a renowned restaurant just off the channel serving rustic Mediterranean fare. The intimate space offers two levels of seating, plus a second level outdoor area. Small plates include scallops, salads, and calamari, and huge entrees delight with options such as rockfish, steak, linguine, and customer favorite, paella. There is still so much to see and do in Sitka, we were only able to scratch the surface with our few hours. Maybe one day we'll make it back here. Until then, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel so you catch all of our content, and as always, Thanks for watching us wander. wander.